Hey guys, it's Bly Boy, and today we'll be going over who the villain of Peacemaker could possibly be. Now, before we get into that, I would just like to praise Peacemaker, as it is an awesome show, in my opinion. And while, yes, it is silly, it is crazy, but you gotta remember, this is James Gunn at full blast. Like, they did not hold back any punches, and that's probably why I love it so much. It because I have a very dark sense of humor, which a lot of people don't like nowadays, but this show works. And let's just all give praise to that intro because no one was expecting how crazy that was going to be. So our first mention of the villain of this series is when they're introduced to Project Butterfly, when they come to Peacemaker and tell him about it. And that's when Peacemaker makes a very interesting comment about it. It's like, you're going to make me fight Mothra, which I want you all to keep that in mind. And he also mentions wanting a jetpack, which makes me think that's going to come in in the finale. So Peacemaker then hooks up with this woman at a bar in the same episode, in the very first episode, and it's been revealed this woman is a butterfly. And she has this ability. She's super strength. She's almost like a creature from the Exorcist movies because her neck snaps a certain way. And she nearly kills Peacemaker, but he's able to defend himself. We then get more information on the butterflies in episode 3 when Peacemaker goes to kill the senator. Now, during this, he has a scope looking into the house of the senator where he soon finds the senator and his wife are eating this honey-like substance with these tendrils that come out of their mouth. After this, Peacemaker is beaten up by Judo Master and taken to the lair of the Senator, where it's revealed there are cocoons everywhere, which is another thing you need to keep in mind. So you've, they've mentioned Mothra, they've mentioned cocoons, and they look butterfly-like people. After killing the Senator, a very parasitic-looking butterfly flies out of his head. After this, it's been revealed that these butterflies have flown all over the countries all over the world, basically, and most of the world is most likely infected with these so-called butterflies. So now let's get into who the suspects could be behind this great disaster that's coming. My first suspect for who could be behind the butterflies is none other than the villain Killer Moth. Now this sounds crazy, but hold on with me, okay? So Killer Moth wasn't always Killer Moth. He also became a character called Traxxas after making a deal with Neuron during the Underworld Unleashed event. And Traxxas was this moth-like creature that would just attack people and make cocoons out of people. And considering that Amanda Waller also put the team onto this Project Butterfly, I feel like maybe Argus may have experimented on his fellow prisoner, perhaps Jury Walker, who was transferred from maybe Arkham or Blackgate over there, maybe because he did something stupid or whatever. Because Killer Moth, you know, he's usually not much of a threat, but when he was Traxxas... He was actually a problem, so maybe Argus did some type of experiment, it created Traxxas, and now Traxxas is releasing butterflies. Now, another problem with the theory is, you'd think, would be moths, you know, the things that are attacking people aren't moths, they're butterflies. But Traxxas is actually a type of butterfly, not moth. So we very well could be dealing with none other than killer moth. Also mentioning Peacemaker's comment about fighting Mothra. Traxxas looks like a giant moth, so perhaps this is who the big villain is. My second suspect is none other than the DC villain known as the Reach. Now, the Reach is an alien race who Peacemaker actually fought in the comics, but I'm going to get to why I do think it's the Reach. Now, the Reach are actually villains of Blue Beetle. Now, in the new trailer for Peacemaker, it's revealed that these are apparently aliens, these butterflies are. And I feel like if this was The Reach, it would help set up Blue Beetle movie. Now, this is kind of a far-fetched theory, but considering that Peacemaker actually was a mentor to Blue Beetle for a while when Jamie raises Blue Beetle, this would work really well, considering that Warner Brothers is working on a Blue Beetle movie, and since Peacemaker's show is supposed to have consequences for the rest of the DCEU, his next appearance could possibly be in the Blue Beetle movie, helping him take down The Reach. So maybe the villain of the Blue Beetle movie is the Black Beetle. In this show, the Negotiator is the main villain of Peacemaker. I feel like that would work really well considering that Peacemaker and Blue Beetle, they work together to take down the Reach. The butterflies are an alien thing. Maybe they are observers from the Reach to observe Earth before they come and invade. I'm not sure, but that's just who I think my second suspect is. And my third and final suspect is none other than the character known as Insect Queen. Now, she's kind of an obscure character who's fought Superman and Supergirl on many occasions, but James Gunn, since he likes to use obscure characters, which Killer Moth and the Reach would have worked, but 
Insect Queen would work too, because Insect Queen, she's an alien ruler who sent her insects to infect people so she could take over the world and make them into a hive mind across the universe. And that's kind of what it seems like with these butterflies. There is a hive mind, and they're all doing the bidding of one person. So perhaps the Insect Queen is the villain of the series, and it sets up this big fight between Peacemaker and the Insect Queen, which would work, and also could explain why the butterflies are infecting people. But yeah, if you guys didn't enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe let me know who you think the villain of Peacemaker is. But I will see you guys on the next one.